guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to be doing a DIY Miss Frizzle costume don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell down below and let's get on to this video you'll need some felt and a pair of scissors the first thing we are going to work on are the stars on Miss Frizzle's dress all I did was fold it over a piece of felt and cut half of a star and then I kind of just shaped the star up to look like a star because mine did not come out looking like a star <laughs> put y'all on something real quick eating Popeyes popcorn shrimp mixing with the red beans and rice I'm telling you it'll make you dance in your pants it is that good so next we are going to be working on Miss Frizzle's sun's rise and shine on her dress I started by taking some red felt and then I pretty much just cut a piece of that and made a circle out of it. Next you are going to cut a piece of the yellow felt and make sure when you cut the piece of the yellow felt it is bigger than the red because we want to start making the sun rays. I just did like zigzag cutting in circles if that makes sense just to do my sun rays. I don't know if anybody has a better method um, but this is the way I done it. Next we are going to work on the moon of Miss Frizzle's dress. I just took white felt because that's what she had and I made a smaller rectangle and cut a crescent shape out of that rectangle. <laughs> Lastly, we are going to do the centers on her dress and so I started off by cutting out a piece of the orange felt because the planet itself is going to be orange and then I just cut that into a circle. Next I took a piece of some yellow felt and did kind of like a rectangle and then cut out an oval shape. Then I folded it half and cut out another piece of an oval shape and made slits on the sides so my planet part of Saturn fits into the rings of Saturn. And now we have all our pieces to make this Frizzle's dress. Lift off. We have a lift off. Next move is to take Miss Frizzle's dress. Now, I bought a blue one off of Amazon, and I'm gonna show you guys real quick a little preview. So here's the dress. This dress also has a collar, same like the one Miss Frizzle is famous for having on all of her dresses. I feel like this just made the costume more authentic. I will leave a link down below as to where I bought the dress. I just went ahead and laid out all my pieces since they got kind of mixed up in the bag. And pretty much we are going to start warming up our hot glue. Once that is warmed up, we are going to lay out some of our pieces accordingly. I just put a sun kind of on the shoulder and then the Saturn more so on her elbow because that is where she had it in the picture. I was trying to be as accurate as possible. But this is not necessary as where I kind of just started adding random stuff to fill up the dress and make it more extra. So next we are going to hot glue all these pieces together. Keep in mind that I did not hot glue the suns and saturns together. So we are going to hot glue those pieces together first and then hot glue them to the dress. <laughs> Done. Starting on the back, notice that this dress has a zipper. Um, later on in the video, I had added, you know, some of the items in odd places. It didn't block the zipper, so I was not totally concerned. But just be careful and mindful that there is still a zipper there because it kind of looks seamless once when you are working on the back of this dress. I had to cut out more stars to the dress, but pretty much all I did was just 
you know, the same to the front. Just kind of adjust everything and kind of clump some items together and just pretty much maneuver how I felt like I wanted the pieces to lay. Don't forget to glue all the items down. Once you glue the Saturns and Suns, you know, pieces together, glue it to the dress because this was a part that I apparently, um, wasn't realizing that I didn't do and pieces did fall out whenever I lifted up the dress. For the shoes I just got out extra yellow stars and then added this piece that I got from Amazon. I just started by poking the needle through the seam and then it kind of just came out through the edge of the shoe. I wanted to keep these shoes so I didn't want to glue the pieces on. And your Miss Frizzle outfit is done! Woohoo! I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, please give me a big thumbs up. It was so fun making this outfit. And I feel like I will wear this way more than once considering I am going to be a school teacher and that the theme of this costume fits. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!